Vegas. Hi, good day. It's Roggy here from Nimbo Crystals, also uh, on eBay from Roggy Auctions. Uh, today we're having a look at some uh, citrine. Citrine is a beautiful crystal, and the question that we're asking today is what does it mean when they say that citrine has been heat treated? If uh, you're one of the people who like citrine and have ever gone looking for a nice big piece like this, these are called geodes by the way, these large uh, crystal caves, um, you may have come across people saying, oh look citrine has been specially heat treated. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what that's all about. Uh, first I'll just, uh, just show you the comparative size of these uh, caves. Okay, here you can uh, you can see the uh, the size of the caves compared to my hand. They're very heavy, both of these, both weighing over 10 kilos. And uh, now, if you can see the colours, I might move the camera a little closer so that you can see the the colours inside the caves here. See that it's a kind of uh, darkish orange with lots of little white crystals in there. They're natural quartz crystals showing through the citrine. And now just move our attention to the other crystal cave here. Obviously a much lighter colour of crystals in this crystal cave. Kind of very pale yellow, just a hint of orange here and there. So, which one of these two caves has been heat treated? Let's have a look at them side by side again. There we go. Alright, the first thing to keep in mind with citrine is that all citrine is created due to heat. Uh, that's uh, a fact. Citrine, of this kind of citrine, is derived from another crystal, which you probably know very well and that crystal is the amethyst. Alright, now all citrine starts off in life as amethyst. What causes it to become citrine is heat. When the crystals are forming underground, which is a long, slow process, possibly over millions of years, if at any time during that there is a sudden massive amount of heat applied, for example, due to the close proximity of, of hot uh, volcanic lava, then that heat will permeate the agate pod containing the crystals and they will transform from amethyst into citrine. There's some evidence that it'll also stunt the growth of the crystal, but certainly there is a colour change from purple to yellow, yellow, orange, even orange brown. I just hold up a very dark, uh, dark piece of citrine there, and another one here. Citrine can be as pale as in the uh, the cave on the right. So, what is the difference between the two? Well, quite simply, when the amethyst is mined and brought to the surface, the mining companies tend to make a certain amount of citrine out of it by artificially heat treating the amethyst and they can do this in a couple of ways one is simply to leave the crystals on the ground with a hot sun on them and they can bake in the sun another way is to put them into an oven and bake them and the vast majority of citrine of this kind of citrine that you'll find um, on the marketplace to buy is heat treated by the mining company. However, a certain amount also is naturally created citrine and that's what you're looking at just here. This geode, in fact, just like the other, may have started off life as an amethyst, but in this case it's had the heat applied naturally while underground during the growth of the crystals and the result is they're no longer as stunted in size they're slightly larger crystals and they've got a white look of them uh, about them uh, similar to white quartz 
some of them in fact are like clear quartz however they have that pale orange or pale yellow colour to them and so here you have a natural citrine geode and the only other thing warning actually to look out for with the heat treated always touch the uh, crystals if you're thinking of uh, buying a piece of citrine and you're not sure about it uh, as regards the heat treatment if it has been artificially heat treated sometimes the crystals can be very brittle they can be loose and wobbly in the quartz uh, matrix that they're growing in and it's always worth testing with your fingers don't be rough with the crystal but by all means be firm just handle it and just make sure that the crystals are not going to wobble and uh, and come out of the quartz and break away in both of these geodes they're very tough very strong and there's almost no likelihood um, for a long long time of any crystal becoming loose to actually where it would break off or fall off from the main crystal so there we are, that's citrines that we've looked at today, citrine geodes. So that's it for now, I'll catch up with you again another time. Bye.